Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite like all time favorite and not just all time but I feel like most of these body lotions are also like all season appropriate you can wear them in the summers in the monsoons in the winters and no matter what time of the year it is I think that they are not um I would say they're not so lightweight that you can't wear them in the winters they are still moisturizing enough but at the same time they're not too moisturizing and like too sticky for the summers i feel like that's the perfect way i can describe them and i know that some of you might be very surprised by me talking about body lotions because that has been a more recent occurrence here on my channel like if you've been following me from like my og youtube like when i started my channel and like i feel like this time last year i was totally not into body lotions like if you would have asked me i would just be like you know what i i would rather just skip it i would just not use body lotion like that's the kind of person i am but then i think june or july of last year is when i kind of like converted i discovered some really amazing body lotions the last nine ten months i would say and ever since then i've totally 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 become a convert so yeah in today's video i'm going to talk about like my all-time favorite these are the ones which i'm basically constantly repurchasing right now i'm actually out of most of them uh, which is why unfortunately i don't have them to show it to you but i will be linking them in the description box and i will also leave pictures on the screen for the products so it's easier for you to like you know maybe if you're strolling on nike or something like that it's easy for you to like identify the products just in case so yeah i will insert pictures and i will leave links in the description box so make sure you check them out but yeah now let's get started the first body lotion definitely has to be um, more of like it's a body serum uh, that's what the brand calls it it's a definitely a lightweight body lotion but then again i definitely feel like it's um appropriate no matter what time of the year it is and it's the dermafic body serums my personal favorite is the aqua surge one and also the intense restore one uh, they also have a night replenish they have three variants in total the night replenish one is actually my mom's favorite she loves the way it smells i also do like it but then i definitely prefer the aqua surge and the intense to restore one more uh, they are all very nice very hydrating i don't i i honestly can't tell much of a difference so i tend to pick up whichever one is stock uh, in stock on nika and i cannot wait to actually buy some backups because i am completely 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 out of all of my dermafic body serums so yeah this is like a great one and definitely i feel like uh, because of the way the consistency is it's like a very lightweight consistency um so if you are someone who doesn't like that sticky oily feel this one you will definitely definitely love so definitely check it out i said definitely like three times or maybe more not sure anyways moving on next my second favorite body lotion that i definitely have to mention this one i feel like i spoke about recently maybe in my last or last to last video uh, i'm generally pre-filming most of the time so i don't really know the order and stuff but uh yeah this one i spoke about recently and this one i actually have in my collection i recently uh repurchased and it's the plum body lotions now um it's from the body lemon range specifically because i know they have their original range and then they have some body Body yogurt. I'm talking about the body loving ones in the um, pump packaging that they have, the newer ones. And again, if I haven't said this multiple times, again, if you're a regular subscriber, you would know it. Uh, the Hawaiian Rumba range is one of my absolute favorites, and I love the Hawaiian Rumba. Charge is. Uh, Char gel of course but the body lotion i love the body lotion the only thing that i have personally noticed on my skin is that when i use this on its own i feel like the fragrance is a little too much and the fragrance um kind of irritates my skin just a little bit so what i personally do is i actually mix like the derma Seek body serum or maybe we also have another body lotion which i'm going to talk about next or uh, let me actually just quickly mention the vlcc body lotions as well which i've spoken about multiple times so basically what i do is i take like one pump of the um uh, plum body lotion and then one pump of the VLCC or the derma fake body lotion and I do like half and half and that's how I use so if I'm using like six or eight pumps like all over my hands and my legs I'll do four of one and then four of the other and I'll mix it that way and I feel like that way uh, the plum one doesn't like irritate my skin in any way so yeah personally I don't think that there's anything else that is wrong with the formulation I just think that maybe the fragrance is a little too much and sometimes my skin can get a little like like um like itchy and maybe a little bit red and like i don't know how to describe it but um 
I can definitely make it work for me and because it smells so amazing and I love the way I smell when I'm wearing it obviously for that reason I make it work like this and again it totally depends on you if you feel like you would rather skip then I think that's totally up to you because I definitely do have a lot of other great recommendations that you might also like so it's not necessary that you have to get the plum body lotions because there are multiple other options um, anyways like I mentioned the VLCC body lotions are another great one uh, this one also has an SPF of 30 so in case you're gonna use a body lotion in the daytime and then step out, I would highly 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 recommend this one even me personally I would mix the VLCC and the plum for like daytime and then for nighttime I would again mix the plum with the derma fake like that's how I did it personally uh, when I had all of these in my collection and again like I mentioned I'm waiting to repurchase the VLCC one this particular one is for some reason out of stock constantly on Nykaa which is why I've not been able to repurchase it for a while so now that I think about it I might actually check it out on Amazon and see if I can find it there so I will leave links again for Amazon, for Nykaa, wherever I can find it in stock and it can be helpful for you guys. But yeah, this is another one that I feel like uh, the consistency is a little bit more different. It's not like the Doma Fique where it's more of like a thinner consistency. This one is a regular body lotion consistency, but you know how a mattifying moisturizer, like you know those cream moisturizers, like face moisturizers, which leave like that mattifying feeling once they get absorbed into the skin. I feel like the VLCV body lotion is the exact same thing, just in like a body moisturizer formula, if that makes sense. So even though it's like, um, I wouldn't say thick, but it's like more of a thicker, comparatively thicker to the Doma Fake in terms of consistency, but it still gets absorbed super duper quickly and it has a very nice smoothing mattifying feeling in the skin. Definitely like completely, completely, completely gets absorbed into the skin and does not leave any kind of a sticky residue behind that would make you feel uncomfortable. So yeah, definitely check out the VLCC one as well, specifically if you're looking for like a daytime body lotion because you'll get the SPF protection as well. So yeah, that was that. Moving on next to a little bit more of an expensive uh, body moisturizer. This one is what I feel like completely made me fall in love with body moisturizers and that is the Body Shop Body Yogurts. Now I've always ab heard about the Body Shop Body Butters. The ones that come in the round tub packaging and that I feel like uh, it's totally uh, all the like Indian beauty gurus and stuff like that. Like Devishri, even I feel like Shreya. There were the, like so many OG um, beauty YouTubers who used to do like body shop hauls and talk about the body shop body butters. So I feel like I always knew about the body butters which are definitely more thicker in consistency. But for some reason people never spoke about the body yogurts much. So I remember stepping into a body shop store one day and I saw the body yogurts. And um, it even says in the packaging that this is like a gel moisturizer and the consistency is literally just like a gel moisturizer like a gel face moisturizer if you've ever used one it's the exact same thing but in like a body lotion formula now the only thing about this one again like i mentioned that it's more expensive and typically one uh, like one dabba or like one tub of the body shop body yogurts last like a month for me personally depending on how much i use them so um yeah, I feel like for that reason, they are definitely a little bit more expensive. I don't remember the exact price, but they are definitely a lot more expensive as compared to like other products and like other options that I have for you in this video. But if you are someone, you're just like, you know, no body lotion works for me. Everything is sticky. Everything is greasy. Nothing makes me feel comfortable. This one for sure will make you feel comfortable. Like I can guarantee that. The only thing is that it's a little bit more expensive. So if you don't mind spending the money, then definitely, definitely, definitely check it out. Moving on next to my last two. Uh, now this one is um, again like a classic OG. I feel like everyone knows about it. It's the Himalaya Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. Now again Himalaya has a lot of different variants. Uh, they also have like a cocoa butter like body cream or something like that. So it's more like a body butter formula. That one I do like and it smells absolutely amazing. But it's definitely a little bit more thicker. So I don't enjoy the experience as much. But the body lotions are amazing. I had a smaller size with which I did use up completely then I bought the bigger size the 400 ml earlier I think I had the 200 ml then I bought the 400 ml I've used both of them up and now I'm waiting to repurchase the 400 ml again 
so yeah i will be doing that very very soon uh this one again i feel like smells absolutely amazing the smell kind of reminds me more of winter like i don't use like himalaya cocoa butter kind of uh, smelling products in the summer because i feel like it's too much for me that's actually one of the reasons why i haven't repurchased it yet because i will probably repurchase it towards like the winters or maybe even like september october and stuff so uh yeah that's why i'm holding off as of now but i feel like the consistency is great and they also have um like a cucumber aloe vera variant which i'm not the biggest fan of like it doesn't smell the best but then again i feel like it's better if you're looking for something that is very easily available himalaya is very easily available if you're not shopping online like most of the other ones you can get only online like not the body shop but um other like the vlcc the doma fake the plum i feel like these are all like online available and they're not available offline but the himalaya one i'm very sure you can find in like drug stores and like you know supermarkets and stuff like that as well so it's very 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 easily available anywhere um so yeah that's why i wanted to give you that recommendation as a well and last but not the least this one was very very surprising to me as well but it's the same types body lotions now um, i did let you guys know in some of my earlier videos i love the shea butter and oatmeal one but that one i definitely feel like i mean i haven't used that in the summer so i can't really tell if it's going to be too much for the summer but i did use the vitamin e and avocado the yellow one very recently actually that's the one that i am I recently just ran out of like yesterday, so um, yeah, that one is great. Um, even in the summer, like I've been using it throughout the month. I think end of Feb was it end of Feb when I started using it? Yeah, I think so. It was end of Feb, and I've been using it throughout the month of March. My mom was also been using it. I think that's the reason I ran out of it so quickly. But yeah, my mom and I have been using it two times in a day, and we've been absolutely freaking loving it. And even though it might first appear to be a little bit more thicker in terms of consistency, eventually it does get absorbed completely into the skin within like I would say five minutes of application. So yeah, I don't think that's much of a problem. I definitely do think that it's an amazing, amazing, amazing recommendation. So um, yeah, those were my six. I wanted to do a top five, but then when I discovered the same times, I was like, I have to make this a top six. So yeah, those were my top six body lotion recommendations. I really, really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Again, like I mentioned two times already, I will list and link everything in the description box. You can go and check it out. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, you guys. If you have tried. out any of these or you are planning on buying any of them definitely let me know in the comment section down below but yeah that's it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye